Welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a while. I hope wherever you are in the world, whenever you are watching this, that you are in as best spirits as you possibly can be. Um, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Michelle. This is my creative space. Just something really quick. I went to Target not too long ago and in their Black History section, this showed up. So I wanted to make a video unboxing it um, just to see what this is all about. I am noticing a lot more tarot cards are popping up in random places. So um, yeah, this was 30% off. Like I said, it was in the Black History section. It is February. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like, oh, it was $28 and then 30% off of that. So yeah, let's, let's open it up. So let me move this. Let me just start off by saying, I love the little box that it comes with. It's always, what is this velvet? So nice little box. I am not a fan of keep, well, I do keep the boxes, but I do not keep my tarot decks in the original boxes. Um, it does come with a guidebook. So always a plus. It has some readings and suggestions on spreads. So always a plus has some education about that. Um, deck story, I think I just saw that. So very, very nice. I like it. Very heavy card stock. I, I like that. So let's get into these cards. This is the design on the back of it. I already love. These do seem a bit wider, I guess, than traditional decks. I love it. I mean, I have the True Black Tarot. Those are pretty wide, so I don't mind that. Let's look at some of the cards. Here's the full. The Magician. Let's see if I could do a better zoom on that. There we go. High Priestess. I like that. I love. I, I love the art. I love the art here. Wow, wait, look at the emperor. I love the astrology that is also in the cards. Symbolism of the moon. Here's a wheel of fortune. Wow, devil. I like that. Judgment. Let's get some randoms. Father of Knives. So another one that does like the mom father thing is uh, the Hoodoo Tarot deck. So I I like that instead of King and Queens, they have Mother Father. Three of Wands. Three of Knives. Seven of Knives. Sorry about my focus here. Eight of coins. All right. I, I love this image here as well. So back again. Um, after taking a little bit of time to glance through the guidebook and really flip through each card and look at the images and all that jazz, um, I would give this deck a nine out of ten. Um I am a fan of faceless um, artwork. I don't know what name that is for it, but I love the images. It's very simple, but has a lot of like power in the meaning. Um, here is Seven of Coins. I will say that Seven of Coins is probably one of my um, favorite images in this deck. Um, I, once again, Love how they use mother, father instead of 
um, king and queen. Like I said, the hoodoo deck does that. There is another deck that also um, does that as well. But I... I really like it. Um, I also like that in the guidebook, it not only has their interpretation of what each card means, but it also breaks down the element, the chakra that it is um, connected to, affirmations and like the alignment message to it. Um, so in my opinion, this would be somewhat decent for um, a beginner deck. I do have many tarot decks and every tarot deck has like a specific purpose i do feel like this would be great for a beginner um looking for a deck for a connection with ancestry reading ancestral readings um yeah i don't have any complaints even like i said with the sizing um it is easy for me to shuffle um so i have small hands so it should be easy for everyone to shuffle it is newer so it is stiff um so the deck is uh not easy for me at the moment um instead of knight and page it has daughter and son so i also do like that as well um like i said yeah a nine a nine out of ten you can pick this up at target black history section it's called the black tarot and ancestral awakening deck and guidebook so yeah nine out of ten y'all have a good day